my name is uh, Danielle Steger and I teach seventh grade math at Creighton Middle School. Um, I just want to start by saying thank you all for everything that you guys do to get your kids to come to class and complete their assignments. And I know that this e-learning um, is a big adjustment for everyone trying to navigate all the different things we've got going on. So I just want to say thank you um, for everything that you guys are doing on your end um, to help your students succeed this year. Um, I'm going to start with a quick little presentation just to kind of go over some of the main stuff that I need to cover um, for our class this year. Um, again, this is seventh grade math, um, and I teach both seventh grade math and seventh grade accelerated. So I'm going to talk about both of those classes um, this evening. To start off, here's a little bit about myself. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in middle level education with a concentration in mathematics and social studies um, that I got from the University of South Carolina's Honors College. Um, in addition to teaching, I am also a camp director at Camp Gravit in Aiken, South Carolina. Um, and my contact information is listed right there. That is my email. So if you need to get in contact with me, um, email is the best way to do that. Um, here's our general seventh grade crate and bell schedule for the year um, or for e-learning right now. Um, our classes are 40 minutes, so we, we move at a very quick pace because we only have 40 minutes together every day. So we've got to get through a lot of stuff in that time. Um, but we also have this built in RTI time every afternoon from 2 to 345. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Um, this is the general grading policy for all of Creighton. Um, it used to be a 70-30 split, but now it is 50-50. So um, formative assignments are worth 50% of your child's grade, and summative assessments are worth the other 50%. So formative assessments are kind of a way that we kind of track their progress as they're going, uh, make sure that I'm teaching it right and that they're understanding it correctly. Um, and that includes like homeworks, quizzes, in-class assignments that I may give them. Um, that also includes their uh, weekly Alex topic goals um, that I will that I assign as well. Um, you are not allowed to retake um, formative assessments, um, but summative assessments, which include tests, projects, or exams, those can be retaken if uh, students score less than 70%. Um, they can come to RTI time um, and review whatever concept they missed or go over the test, um, and then they can take a retake. And the highest grade that I can put in the grade book is a 70%. Um, the only exception to that is the nine week exams. Those cannot be retaken, um, even though those are summative. Um, I'm going to talk about kind of all of the different channels that we have on Teams and the important stuff that's in each of those. And then in a moment, I'm going to show you guys my screen and show you exactly what Teams looks like and how to get to everything on there. Um, but the general channel is where I post daily updates. So every single day I go in and I say, whatever the date is, update. And I say what we did in class that day. I say what's coming up, what homework that they might have. Um, if there's a test or quiz that they should be studying for, um, any review resources that might um, assist them as extra practice, I post all of that in the general channel. So if you're ever curious about what's going on in math class, what assignments should be, go, what assignments your students should be doing, what they should be preparing for for the future, the general channel is where you can find all of the updates. Now, if you want specifics about the assignments, that's going to come a little bit later. But the general channel has general daily updates. Um, the homework channel is where I post all the specific information for each assignment. So I might say in my daily update, hey, you have a quizzes, check out the homework channel to get the code for it. So on under the homework channel is where I post all of the assignments um, and I We'll write the quizzes codes, exactly what websites they need to go to, how to access them. Um, the, the homework channel is going to be a detailed description for every assignment. So if they're ever missing anything, they can go back to the homework channel and scroll up and find whatever that assignment was and how exactly to access it. The only thing that I don't post in the homework channel is Alex assignments. Um, that's just a weekly assignment that they just need to know that they have to do. I'm not going to post an individual assignment about it every week because um, that would get uh, monotonous. So they should they just need to be aware that they have Alex every single week. Um, the other channel that's really important is the FAQs channel. Uh, that's where I post a lot of important information like our course requirements. So if you want more information, um, 
specific details about what exactly we're going to be covering in this class this year, um, more specifics about that grading policy, um, that can all be found in the course requirements, which is in the FAQ channel. Um, also, their textbook login directions are in the FAQ channel and a general crate and bell schedule. Um, and then any other things that are important that would be uh, valuable for our entire class to see, those would be posted there as well. Um, if your student needs help, if they have missing assignments, if they failed a test, if they have a question while they're doing homework or something, they should utilize this RTI time. Um, every Every day from 245, all teachers are expected to be on their computer available to help students. Now we have specifically scheduled different blocks um, and days of the week for different blocks. So Monday is technically A block, Tuesday is technically B block and so on. Um, but that doesn't mean that I can't help any student during any day of the week. Um, that's just when I could kind of require it if I needed to. Um, and the only time that I would ever require RTI yeah. is if um, I have a missing test or a missing quiz or a missing assignment of some sort, um, I might require students to come to RTI so that they can make that up. Um, but other than that, it's just optional. So if they have a question about something or they want to get something cleared up or they're confused about a concept, they should come to RTI. Um, the the uh, only thing that they would need to do if it wasn't their scheduled time is to send me a chat message that says, hey, Miss Steger, I know it's Tuesday, but can I come to RTI? And I'll say, yeah, of course, and I'll just add them into my call. Otherwise, they won't be able to access the call unless they tell me that they want me to call them, and then I'll put them in the call. The other thing that students can do if they um, have questions about stuff or need some help or need a quizzes code or are confused about something is they should chat me on Teams. Um, it's kind of like a text thread or something, but uh, it's a way for us to have constant communication with each other. Um, and I send updates in the chat a lot. If I see a whole bunch of kids miss an assignment, then I'll send a little reminder like, hey, you missed this assignment, here it is. Hey, you missed this assignment, here it is. Um, I'm pretty good at keeping up with um, who's missing what. So it's important that if they are missing something that they scroll up in their chat because chances are that I already told them that they're missing it and exactly how to access it. Um, here are some of the websites that we're going to be using a lot in math class. Um, we use Alex for the weekly topic goals and then I also might have additional homework assignments there as well. Um, we do quizzes a lot, power schools where they can um, go to check their grades and you can check those as well. Um, I have access to all the login information. So if you have a question um, or you don't know your power school login information, you can send me an email and I can send it to you. Um, and then we use forms in class, Master Connects where we take a lot of our tests testing quizzes, and then OneNote is where we do all of our note taking. And I'm going to show you guys OneNote in a little bit. Um, but this is just some general um, helpful contact information. Um, that's my email. Um, that's the phone number you can use uh, to call guidance if you want to have a parent teacher conference. Um, all conferences must be made through guidance. Um, and then the tech help website, that's the general um, Richland One tech help phone number. Um, so now I am going to show you my computer screen so that we can kind of walk through some of this stuff on Teams specifically. So on Teams, um, or on Teams, your students have a, a team channel for every single one of their classes. So these are my four classes, A, B, C, and D block. Um, I'm just going to look through A blocks right now. But if you see on the left hand side, this is where we have all of our channels that I was talking about earlier. So again, the general channel is where I post all of my updates. You can see here I put nice in a big announcement heading the 924 update. So that was my update for September 24th. And I said, OK, this is what we did in class. This is what we're going to continue talking about tomorrow. I give um, a brief homework explanation. And then sometimes I also send review resources. Like right here, I said, if you want to have extra practice for the quiz, here's some different websites that you can go to. Um, so the general channel, these updates that I post daily, that's going to be the place for, for you to look if you want to help your student find something or you want to see what's going on in math class for that day or for the past couple of days. The daily live class sessions here channel is where students go every day to join my class meeting to get marked for attendance to be in our video call um, for class each day. 
in that call, um, I have access to download attendance. So I can ask, I can download um, a, a file that will tell me exactly when every student entered the meeting and every time they left or when they left at the very end. Um, so what that means is I can kind of see if students join for for the first five minutes of class and then bail and leave for the rest of class. Um, and I can count them absent if they do that. So it's important that students are not only logging into class, but that they are also staying for the whole time and then that they are actively participating. Um, if I call on them and they don't answer or they're not responding or they're not answering questions in the quizzes that we're working through, um, I'm also allowed to mark them as uh, absent as well. So they have to not only be in the call and be present, but they have to be actively engaged in turning in assignments and working through things to be counted as present for e-learning. Um, another thing that I do to help me check attendance is I send a quick little check-in form into the chat of, it, of the meeting every single day. So the students have to answer one kind of fun question or I might ask them like what their favorite color is or what they did this weekend. But then I also ask a couple of math questions to kind of get us jump started into class each day. Um, the FAQs channel again, here's some of uh, the information and then you can go to the files tab up at the top and that will show you um, all the different files that I was talking about, the course requirements, the login directions, the bell schedule, that's all there. And then again, this is the homework channel where I post the individual assignments about what they should be doing for homework each night. Um, if they click on view assignment, it'll give them more of a detailed description about exactly what it is, how to access it, what website you need, all of that information is there. They can also look under the assignments tab on the left-hand side as well. Everything that's posted in the homework channel is also posted in the assignments tab. And finally, the last channel is just their RTI channel. That's where we have our RTI meetings. Um, again, if they want to meet with me during a day that is not their scheduled day, um, they will just have to send me a quick message so that I can add them into the call. The last thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about is Class Notebook, which can be found up at the top. If you click Class Notebook here, um, this is where we do all of our interactive notes. Um, we might do practice problems. Um, we go through notes in class and then I might have them do some for homework. Um, you always want to open the notebook in the desktop app. That, that's the best way to um, have full access to all of um, the resources that it has here. And mine looks just a little, a little bit different because I'm on a different type of computer. But within the notebook, I can see all of their notebooks, but they have different um, tabs on the left hand side for the different sections. So right now we're in unit one um, and here you can see all the different pages that we've gone through for unit one um, and I can look at what they've actually filled out um, and if they're staying on, prog on, on progress with everything. Um, but again, that's one note and that's where we go for all of our notes. So if they have, they're having trouble with the concept, they should go back and reference their notes in their OneNote app. Um, Again, I just want to say uh, thank you guys so much for watching this and tuning in about uh, your math class uh, for your child um, that's in seventh grade. Um, I want to again reiterate how thankful I am for all of y'all and everything that you guys do at home. Um, I know I know this e-learning is weird. I know there's so much going on. We've got all these resources that are given to us and we give them all these websites and usernames and passwords and it's it's a lot and um, I'm definitely aware of that so I, I'm trying to be flexible I'm trying to be very understanding of everything going on I know different people have internet troubles and there's so much going on so I just want you guys to know that um, um, I am here for you I'm here for your child um, if they have any questions they shouldn't hesitate to send me a chat message or send me an email um, but again if you have any questions feel free to email me um, but I hope that you have a fabulous evening. Bye-bye.